Hey, the Moment friends! Ending here for another episode of Book 13 of the Volume 1 Epic Story in Lord of the Rings Online. When we last left off, well, we were getting ready to go through that icy gate ahead of us to face Mordrembor and his new master. Uh huh. There's water on the floor. Here we go. Ah, I was wondering if thou would make it this far. Thou hast quite a talent for avoiding death. If thou dost insist on hindering my progress, then I will deal with thee now. If thou would but aid me, thou would receive great rewards. My new master knows how to honor those who aid him. The Emperor is quite good. Nay, thou, then thou will not leave this place. Next thing I know, Mordrimbor tell me that he's my father. Well, that can't happen. Let's see how thy fares against the winds of the north. Hmm. Quite well. Well, let's see how the fares against... Me being stunned. Okay. Good one there, Staff Dang. That was a good play. But just because you're four levels higher than me doesn't mean that you can win. Didst thou hear that the winds carry fell voices? Oh, really, Mordrampore? You will die before it's over. Look how the water is starting to melt around you. That is foretelling of your demise. You set fire to this place. Fire can only destroy. Angmar has power over things more terrible than thy darkest nightmares. Oh, don't run away, Mordrimbor. That's a bad idea. Bad idea, Mordrimbor. I tire of this. Come, join with me, Staff Tang. Those who stand against Mordrembor, the champion of Angmar, and servant of the Great Eye, will surely fall. Champion of Angmar, a lofty title. Ah, the hag. Thou hast come to die as well. Die, nay. I think not. Thou hast revealed much. Treacherous tongues should not wag so freely. Treacherous? <laughs> oh no. That's happening again. Amarthio? Didst thou believe I would be so foolish as to let thee go unwatched to Forchel? Mistress, I. Thou wilt pay for thine insolence. Oh, snap. Yeah, you guys fight. That's great. Oh, wow. He screams like a girl. <laughs> this is not over. Yeah, just run away. No worries. Just keep running. They blocked the path with fire. Well, I guess our way out is this way then. Here we go. Ah, a nice little chest. Look at that. Whoa. That looks more like a ranger. That looks like Aragorn. Frozen. That is creepy looking. What else is around here? That is creepy. They all look like Aragorn. I know they're not, but man, that is creepy. Tight 
talk to the uh, Wraith. Alright, well, we will go and do that when we can. Okay, here we go. Looks like the fire finally stopped burning over here. And it's our way out. We must quickly talk with the Wraith and learn what is to be done next. Alright, I have returned. I bear a great grief upon me. The elf captain perished then. I will not grieve, for he escaped this Middle Earth to a land much greener. Or so the elves say. This ring fragment should be brought to Elvond of Rivendell, for he is wise in the matters of the enemy. A ring of power, however minor, is a dangerous thing. Give Master Elrond my gratitude, for it was in the, his care that my progeny were raised. If any of my line remain, Speak well of me to them, and bring them hope of great deeds to come. All right, time to take the next half of the ring to Elrond of Rivendell once more. Yes, we're returning once again to Elrond, because we clearly have not gone back to him enough times already. Elrond, I have the other half of the ring, kind of. Will you lend me your aid once more? You have returned from Forhel, and with the fragment of Narquil? And yet, what is this, you say? The shade of Avendu remained there. A foul end to a good man. May the Valor have mercy upon his spirit. His grievings are welcomed, but they will be welcomed more by his heir. I think. Go to Aragorn and tell him of your meeting with Avendu. Unlike many men, I think you will find he does not fear the dead or word of them. He is in one of the great rooms along the road that winds up the southern slope of the Vale of Imladris. All right, Elrond. We'll go speak once more with Aragorn. Son of Arathorn. All right, Aragorn. Greetings. Alas, such a weight King Avendur must bear. Thank you for your tidings, my friend. When there is more time, we might speak at more length of your meeting. Greetings. I thank you again for bringing word of your meeting with the Shade of Avendur. I hope that his spirit will find rest from its exile. In the meantime, Laradane has been awaiting news of your efforts. You should go to him and tell him of your adventures. He is in his chambers on the first floor of the last homely house. Go with the good will of the free peoples. But first, well, I take that back. Once you get there, choose a weapon, for he will have many. All right, Laudane, here we come. All right, Laudane. What do you need? At last, the final fragments of Narquil has been found. I must prepare now to take the ring south. The plans are nearly complete. I was perhaps wrong to which Narquil, wish Narquil reforged. I see now how dangerous the things may be. It must be destroyed. I believe there is but one place where that may be done. It is not far, but I deem it will be dangerous. Foes will assail us from every side, but we must succeed. Neither Amarthia nor Mordrambor must recover it. Farewell for now, Staff Dang. Alright, let's see. Do we want a much better staff? Or 
a better sword. I think. Let's see, that increases DPS by one. They both increase DPS by one. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Will you lend me your ear? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching book thirteen of the epic story. When we return, we will go south. Into the old elf lands of old. Yes, that's right. We will be going to Aragion. Not the dragon, but the land. That's right. And we will be, hopefully, able to destroy this ring. Once and for all. From the forges of whence it came. Anyway, till then, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you again real soon for book 14 of the epic story. PVMP and Dang, subscribe.